part two of this review was a little disappointing. Editing and interacting with items wasn't as fun as taking notes in the app. This is the third and final part of this review, so let's find out who this app is really for. Fantastic human. Hello. It's Ropsy with Paperless X. Before Nebo, the handwriting conversion in Notes Plus X was great. It is still great because not many apps support the Arabic language and you have more than 40 supported languages, which is a lot for a handwriting note taking app. The accuracy is also one of the best I have seen. You almost never need to fix any errors. So if handwriting conversion is a big part of your work, you will like Notes Plus X. The feature is straightforward and easy to use, which is always good. Given how bad the text tool is, you'll probably use OCR more in the app because it's much better than trying to type anything. Even better is that you can search your handwriting in NOS Plus X, but the search tool setup is terrible. It is away from your notes, does not highlight your found terms, you get no preview, and the app only points you to the page. It's helpful when you have few notes. I went on and imported another document with more notes to demonstrate how inefficient the search tool setup is. And I got the shock of my life. The app does not search through your PDFs. I thought to try another one just in case there was something wrong with the first document and I tried this several times. Still, nothing. Notes Plus X does not search any document you bring into the app. It can only search information that you've added from within the app. So if you rely on searching external documents, you definitely won't like Notes Plus X. PDF reading as it exists in a handwriting note taking app does not work in Notes Plus X. In part one of this review, I was disappointed that the app doesn't recognize hyperlinks. That meant I couldn't use our digital notebooks in the app. And these work in every other handwriting note taking app, even in Apple Notes. The only page editing option you have is duplicating pages, for which you can't select multiple pages. There is no page rotation, but you can move your pages around. You can also change your page template, and that's it, which is not great in 2024. The app doesn't support true dark mode, which is not surprising because most apps in this niche don't do that anyway. Multiple instances works, but you can't open the same notebook twice. It defeats the whole purpose of multiple instances. Scribble works, so it can help you avoid typing your notes in the app which can improve your user experience just a little bit. You can only show your notes as PDF or image. After naming your document and picking pages for it, you can export. The app doesn't export a native version of your notes. And that means you can't back up your notes. More about that in a bit. But I like the print feature in the app. It can export some decent PDFs just by playing around with the different settings.
while I love the organization of files, it's only great for syncing across your devices. It doesn't do much for your backup though. There is no excuse for that in 2024. A handwriting note taking app should have both backup and syncing. The app supports folders within folders, but it's nothing exciting. In part one, NOS plus X was a blast from the past. However, the more you use it, the more you realize that the app is a bit stuck in the past. You'll have to give up a lot of features to enjoy the experience you get in it. Is that even possible? I believe it is. For minimalist note takers who don't do much. I think Uncle Dan would do fine in this app. He is mostly using Apple Notes, but doesn't do much in it. Doesn't add anything, doesn't move anything, just handwrite notes. Hardly ever types anything. But you get the idea. Notes Plus X can't replace Apple Notes, which I thought was possible at first. If you're using Notes Plus X, let us know what you like about it. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.